Right guys, today we're going to be doing the UART module tutorial. So what we, we've already set up our LCD, we've set up our PIC, and now we're going to set up our UART so we can talk to them. <coughs> to do this we're going to have to, first you have to have this module, then we're going to Google search. Sorry, my computer's responding very slowly at the moment. Microsoft. Or don't do anything. You you choose, mate. Visual Studio C Sharp. Um, uh, click that one. Good, good, good. And install. Once you get that all set up, plug in your module. Uh, sorry, I forgot to mention you need to download the. The software which comes with it, and I'm not sure I want to look for that right now, so I'll just I'll put it as a link. Yeah, it's all good. Right, once we start, new project, Windows Forms application. Now I don't expect you to know any programming. I I just expect you to follow along. Basically, we're just going to make one program. I'll show you how to do everything. And then um, <coughs> might might inspire you to do some more future programming. I don't know. My computer is having an absolute mere. So we click on this toolbox thing over here, and what we want is we want two buttons, copy paste. Two buttons, good. Two rich text box. Oh, where did where did that go? Copy paste. Good. Six it up a bit. Here we go. And lastly, let's have a checkbox. Okay, now we gotta name them. So you have your text, which is what you see visually. So if I send but you've also got something called your name. Now, this is quite important that we label this properly. So we'd call it B send. Basically, it allows us to programmatically refer to the button. So B clear and clear. Use capital. And we'll change this one to text box. No, we'll just IM. And we'll leave the the name what it is. Um, we also want to change the names of these, not the text, but the name. Text box RX TBTX. And lastly, we want to gr grab serial port and drop it into your just anywhere. It doesn't matter. It doesn't actually go on your form. If you didn't see what I did there, um, under components, I got a serial port. Now we want to we'll rename that one my serial port. Good. Okay. Now we want to set up a few event listeners. So we thought if you don't have this little thing on the side, by the way, you want to back click and just go to properties. And um, you got this little Harry Potter looking thunderbolt going on. Click on that. Double click data received. And what it will do is it will take you to the program. And this is where you'll put in your code. And before we do that, we'll just double click this. And we'll double click this. And what that does is it just sets a listener on those two buttons as well. It's just a quick and easy way to do it. And then lastly, click the form. Not lastly, actually. Um, form closed. Double click that. Now, lastly, we want to click on the send. I think we called it TBTX. Bit of a ridiculous name, really. 
and we want to do key press double click that TVTX yep All right. now first thing you probably want to check after you've installed your software is what port is it installing into so go to properties my computer back click properties device manager and I don't have mine plugged in at the moment but when I do you see it refresh and then port and it says com port 9 so go back to your thing go back to the properties just change that to com yours might be different from mine I don't know if it's always com port 9 or not but dims the bricks right now we gotta set initialize the port we gotta say if not my serial port dot is open so if my serial port isn't open I want to open the port my serial port dot open this is a method so we need brackets we also write a wee message to ourselves so tbrx dot text and we'll just we'll just do something like port opened and maybe a smiley face because that shit it gets me excited good and if it is already open we say else tbrx dot text equals port busy frowny face good all right now when we receive data we want to put that receive data into a string so private rx string oh now we gotta say it's a string first so rx string equals my serial port dot read existing that's a method you can see the little I don't know what it is it's like a pink rubber eraser or something uh, and we want to make a method called display we'll do it under here private void display text you can name this anything I'm not very original object send uh, events args so basically this is um, this will handle these will be on different threads which means they can both occur at the same time kind of thing so it needs to be handled in a certain way so you go this dot invoke new event handler and then put in your event handler name display text uh, uh. boom now to do that now what we're going to do is we're going to go rx string dot append text no rx tb rx sorry dot append text rx string I'm all over the show now what append text means is it basically just adds it to the already existing text whereas if you set the text like I did up here it's going to set that's all that's going to be in the box it's going to clear everything else out and make it like that. Okay. Send dot click. We want. We want to take tb dot. We go my serial port dot write. And then we'll go. Text box tx. Dot text. So we're taking the string from the text box and writing it to the serial port. Pretty straightforward. Um, when we click clear, we want tb 
tx dot clear tbrx dot clear so it's just going to empty out the boxes when we close our form we want serial my serial port to close right. now what I'm going to do here with this is I'm going to make it so instead of typing out and clicking send you can tick this and it will send it instantly so that way you can have basically live live sending so we'll go if my serial port dot is open and so double and checkbox one dot checked We want to I think we, we want to put this in an array. Put it in an array of size one. New character array one. Now I may be wrong and I may either delete this or go back. Um C H one oh no zero so what I've done is I created an array of size one and it always starts at zero so our index zero equals e dot get character key character so when the key is pressed you get this event and this event has a key character associated with it we put in here and then we want our serial port my serial port dot write ch offset zero count one I think that's everything unless something slipped my mind um, if it doesn't work go on to the next tutorial and I'll rectify any problems and remember you got to install that software first before you use it we'll just give it a quick try running it see if it works port opened yep close check that alright I'll see you guys next tutorial anyway cheers guys